having a good moment. If, if, if I hadn't seen me before, I was going to give you some stats uh, about the show. I did the show at the Edinburgh Fringe, full month of gigs, only one walkout. <laughs> I thought I was pretty impressive. And it was a very complimentary walkout as well, because what happened, there was a woman, she was feeling quite faint, she was feeling a little bit sick, she had to leave the venue, fair enough. But crucially, her husband had come in with her, and he did not leave. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his wife barely able to stumble out of a venue. It's just like, I'll see you in 15 minutes, love. Um, God, God rest her soul, actually. Um, no. It's quite a sad story to start with. Um, yeah, sad story. Um, f favourite audience member of, of the gig put his hand up after about 20 minutes and said, I think I'm in the wrong show. <laughs> 20 minutes in. <laughs> he only thinks he's in the wrong show. Um, asked him a question. First question, I said, um, have you come to see Ian Smith? And he said, no. <laughs> and I said, well, you are in the wrong show, because that's me, that's who I am. So I asked him who was on his ticket, and he said, foil arms and hog. <laughs> now, if you don't know who they are, they're a very funny, three-person Irish sketch group. <laughs> 20 minutes in. He's not 100%. <laughs> He's most confusing 20 minutes of his life. Uh, where, where, where are the other two? Well, just one guy doing a Yorkshire character. That's just bullshit. <laughs> but I, I know, um, I know this is, I say it's the best show I've written. And, and I know that because I've, I've done six shows. This is the only one Debbie McGee's come to. <laughs> The only one, Debbie McGee. I don't know who Debbie McGee is, Paul Daniels, former assistant, Debbie McGee. She come to the most arrogant entrance to a show I've ever seen. She, she was told it was sold out. She come at the door, she was told it was sold out. So what Debbie McGee did is she went off, found a chair, brought it in, <laughs> and basically said, Debbie McGee tells you when it's sold out. She plumped herself down. <laughs> Didn't even cut herself in two and spread herself out. <laughs> Attach yourself afterwards. Um, now, be before we get going, I usually I'll talk to one audience member before we start. Big pressure. Recorded gig, bit of audience banter. Um, what's your name, mate? Mate. Mate. <laughs> your name's mate? Mitt. Yes. Fuck, I mean, what an exceptional start that would have been, though. <laughs> Just mate, mate, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I'm a, bit, I'm a bit worried that maybe it's just your resting face, but you don't look like you're enjoying it. And there is going to be a close-up of you at this point, so... I don't know whether to move on or just... Uh, I'll just sort of block it out like that. So, he's smiling. He is smiling. This cheeky fuck is trying to get an angle at you. Don't look there. Don't look there. Um, what, um, what, um, what do you do, mate? Work for the government. You work for the government. Okay, what area of government? Ministry of Justice. Ministry of... <laughs> fucking hell. You've, you've got a commanding way of delivering words. You, you said Ministry of Justice to me as if I'd done a crime. You were like, Ministry of Justice. So watch what you're saying. Um, good. There's a few legal issues in the show, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll get your opinion on them in a bit. Um, 